Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Strat Gamer here, providing you with a new Anno 1800 episode today. And we are back in the Arctic for our second episode on the top specialists and items for this region. If you missed the first episode where we covered all of the basic needs for explorers and technicians, don't hesitate to check it out. It will appear now at the top. And today we have a lot more to cover. We're going to cover uh, the uh, the items to for these actual residences, right? So the, the explorers and technicians. We're also going to cover all the items for the public buildings, things like the eater, uh, the post office, and many others. And lastly, we're going to cover what I call the heat needs. So if you could select uh, the explorer or technicians, you can see the basic needs that we covered last time. And then instead of luxury, we have the heat. And these are the ones that we're going to cover too. So quite a few um, to go. Before we dive in, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're into strategy games, city building games, simulations, that's exactly what I cover. Okay, so let's dive in. Explorers is basic um, house, 10 population. When you upgrade it, goes into your technician for 20. Quite a few buildings do require technicians. Um, I think it starts with the parkas and the huskies. And most importantly, the gas, but also um, the deep golf mine and not the prime team. But mostly the deep the gold mine the gas mine, sorry, is, is a key one for everybody. So now let's look into those items for these houses. And actually we're gonna do control T to go into this and just you can write explore a shelter and you'll see all the items that do impact it. And there's actually only four. So that's why I did it this way because let's let's take a quick look at them, only four of them. So the impact uh, is in Arctic flu chance minus 40%, right? It's the sickness in the Arctic and sleeping bag reduced consumption by 30%. So all about heat, right? All about the Arctic flu chance here on this one. And this one, it's a mix between Arctic flu chance also minus 40, but also the pemmican. So the basic need, which is a lot more important, right? Because if you don't give the basic need, you don't get the population. Then this one, quite different, because on top of the flu chance, like all the other items, it will target your workforce. And workforce is key, right? Because it's not it's not the, the population. So you don't have to feed the workforce. If, it, if you use these items, it increases your workforce by 15%, but doesn't change your consumption at all. Which means that, you know, if you're, let's say, for example, targeting 200 uh, explorers or 200 technicians for whatever production you want to do, um, you will need less houses with this radiator and therefore less consumption and also less space. So that can be quite key. And then lastly, this is the f only item that doesn't reduce your um, Arctic flu chance, but it does reduce uh, further your pemmican, right? If you combine this one with this one, you're already at 60% pemmican. So that's quite a lot. Now, which one would I suggest? So let's start with the ones that for me make sense in any case. In any case, I would definitely choose this one. The outdoorsy grill, you have the flu chance and the pemmican, can't really do better than that. So you do you do to select this one for sure. Then, uh, then there's there's two scenarios, you know. Either you're looking to let's say have the biggest population as possible. Right, be it because you want to produce a lot, or be it because you're just doing a, a population record like myself. So that's the first scenario. The second scenario is almost opposite. It's a scenario where, for example, you, you want to get all the gas, right? You want to have um, the four plateaus with gas mines, but you want to do that with as least population as possible, right? To have uh, the least consumption, so canned food, alcohol, etc. necessary. So in the first scenario, 
uh, where you want the maximum population, you will definitely choose this one, the rugged outdoor cook, because it will reduce your pemmican, and therefore you can have more population with the same consumption. And then you will probably choose this one. Why this one? Because it will increase your workforce for explorers, right? Meaning you have you will have less houses of explorers, meaning you, meaning you can have more houses of technicians and therefore more population. Hope you, you followed this. Um, if, if this was not clear, don't hesitate to put it in the comments below. Um, I wouldn't mind. Then in the second scenario where you want to uh, limit, let's say, the, the population, you will definitely still choose this one, right? The workforce plus 15%. Because it will, um, you will have less, you know, houses, right? Plus, but then the second, maybe you may want to choose this one as a second. And why? Because it will give, it will really put your Arctic fluctuants at 0%, right? Because you are 30 plus 40 plus 40, so 110. Versus if you choose this one, you're only going to get 30 plus 40, right? 70% reduction. Um, and you, if you have, if you're in the situation where you want the, the sort of least uh, population as possible, you may not need this red pemmican reduction product. Uh, pemmican reduction, because it's easily feasible to have no workforce needed for pemmican production. So that's that won't be a problem if uh, you've seen my previous video. Now let's move to the technicians. And for the technicians, there's actually two more items. So you keep those four that we just looked at and you add those two. The first one reduces your Arctic flu chains by 50 and your coffee. And this one reduces also Arctic flu chains by 50 and your parkas. Now, if we think again about the two scenarios, in that case, you'll, you'll again definitely want this one, right? The Arctic flu chains plus the pemmican, uh, that's a no brainer. On the other hand, you probably don't need this one because, um, well, no, sorry, you do need it in scenario number two. If you want as little technician shelters as possible, for sure you're going to go to this one. And the third item actually won't really mind. You, you won't really care in, in this scenario because, to be honest, if you have as little as possible of those houses, um, you probably, you know, don't, are not giving them parkas and uh, coffee anyway. So that's, um, you know, you could basically choose any of these, I guess, uh, in this scenario. In the scenario of really wanting as many people as possible, you will definitely choose this one again. Then you won't choose this one because you will have so many houses that increasing the workforce won't be useful. On the other hand, this one will be useful if you're trying to get as many technicians as possible, you will want to reduce the pemmican consumption. So for sure, this is the second one you'll choose. And then I would argue that the third you want, I mean, we've already excluded this one. So it's between these three, right? This one is almost already out because it's only minus 40 and it's only sleeping bags. Versus these ones are at least minus 50 and um, sort of higher higher heat need coffee or parkas and then I would argue that because coffee comes from another region and I can actually produce quite a bit of coffee if you don't know about how you can check the video that's popping at the top now um, so I will select this one and that's actually what I've done uh, if we check a thing that was here yes this is you know an I run full of, of technicians and if we look this, this is what I've selected. As I said, the outdoors or grill, the rugged outdoor cook, and this jacket for the parkas. So here it is for the explorers and technicians. If you have any questions, if you disagree, I'd love to hear about it in the comments below. Now, if you're doing some an island like this, you may also think that it's great to improve your heaters. 
because their range is quite limited and therefore in an array like this you know I mean I need what seven something like this I can check um, yes. yes no that's not it uh, why is it yeah seven eaters so you know if you improve that you could have less that could be great the problem with this thinking is well, if I, if you put an Arctic launch like this, and you use it to cover your heaters, then you're not covering your houses, right? So it's sort of a trade-off between the two, and it depends how good um, how good the items are, right, on the heater. So we need to check, and there's actually only one. So that's not that great to start with. When we look at it, it does increase the range by 20% is what you would want and that's interesting the other element is instead of coal it processes wood in some ways that is interesting right because um, you know wood is, is very easy to produce really requires very little people um, but it actually does require quite a bit of space versus the coal I'm actually getting coal like I have too many mines <laughs> to for the, the coal that I need. So I'm getting a lot of coal, that's not a problem. And the second element that I don't really like when you you know you switch from coal to wood is that then you, you pretty much want to change all of the eaters in an island. Because if you don't change all of the eaters, it means you need, need to start delivering both coal and wood. As you said, at least if it's only coal, only wood, that's a lot, lot easier to manage, um, especially for those plateaus, because you know that this is the only, f um, you know, everything needs to be delivered through that trading post, which only has four loading ramps. Um, you can't really improve that further. So that's, um, that's key for me. There's a few destroyed buildings here. Um, so that's the eater, really not, not that great, um, to be honest. So I, I don't like it. Now, if we think about the eater, what, what do you need? As we just said, we need coal, right? There's no mines for coal in the Arctic, except if you use a mod. There is indeed a mod that can um, that makes it so that instead of all gold deposits, some deposits are, are other elements. But uh, I'm not using that, so you have to use the charcoal clean. Uh, do I have? Yeah, there's one here, for example, something like this, right? You may uh, haven't used that that much uh, in the old world because in the old world you have mines, but you actually can use it in the old world. Now there are some items for it. Let's take a look. Uh, I'm not sure if that's going to show us. Yeah, so the problem is here it shows us all of the items, even those that only impact uh, the old world and not just the new world. So I will tell you there's actually only two items. The first is this one, which will um, improve your productivity and produce snaps. So the interesting thing about this is then you don't need to, um, to get snaps from, uh, from the old world. And then the second is the music box, which is the equivalent sort of ferrous, right? It, it affects all public buildings in the art, all buildings in the Arctic, but only with productivity 20%. That's not huge, to be honest. Um, so yes, there's only those two items, no third items for um, for the Arctic. So honestly, it's it's a bit of a waste of your space in the Arctic to to put them there. It's a lot better to put them in the old world if you actually want. Um, to use them because in the old world you can stack, stack quite a few items uh, and make them uh, almost on top of each other. Now the next one is for the ranger station, one of those public buildings. If we look once again here, how many items there, oh no it's not park ranger sorry, it's ranger station. <laughs> There's only one which will give you one more ranger and the speed of support by plus 50. So once again, I mean, sure, this can be quite useful, but wasting a whole um, Arctic uh, launch for that is quite bad. 
of course what you could do is have uh, a heater and a range station together so you put the zappy battery indeed for the heater and you put this aspirin machine for the range station but still to me it's not worth it honestly now let's move on to the actual productions uh, and if we go back to our houses let's take a technician one heat so we've covered this one the heat right now we need to look at sleeping bags so that's what we're going to look at now alcohol or schnapps it needs to come from the old world or it needs to come from uh, this item we just saw here right which you can put on your lumberjack hats and your charcoal cans if you're doing it here in the arctic then you have the parkas that we're gonna look at just now and then lastly the coffee which once again needs to come from uh, the new world or the old world if you do have the advanced coffee may, uh, factories or roster so now let's look at sleeping bags and parkas in the consumable sleeping bags you need seal hunting dogs or dogs sorry that we saw in the previous episode the goose farms and if you remember in the previous episode for pemmican and um, and huskies there are a, there are a lot of items that actually produce uh, goose farms as an extra you know an extra good i think it was with the uh, one in, in five cycle or something like this but you could be already producing quite a bit with your normal production so do check that before putting a lot of, of goose farms and that will go into the sleeping bag factory so now let's look into that let's start with the goose farm the goose farm just uh, for your information you know looks like this you need to put those goose pen five of them like this and you do need heat like most of these so now if we look into the product the item tab goose farm there's a few items um, and once again as you can see it's not you know most of them um, you know it's all of these items affect many things like this one the goose farm and the husky farm so that's why we saw it last time uh, this one also the husky farm all of these are actually also for the husky farm and to be honest you're going to choose basically the same thing this one is the first one you're going to choose for sure productivity plus caribou meat that you need for your pemmican so that's a no-brainer then it really depends um, like in the previous episode if you want to reduce your workforce or if you just want to go for as much productivity as possible and given that we are talking about um, explorer workforce you may actually want to reduce it even if you're doing um, a max population element now if you want to reduce it the dog work breeder the astute dog breeder is your your choice because workforce need minus 50 so that's a great one and if you really want to just go for um, the productivity, then your best productivity guess is the driftwood, plus 25. If we look at the other, it's 20, 20. This one is useless. And this one, we talked about it last time, right? It does increase your productivity by 60, but it also increases your module by 35%, which is one more module, or even, oh, actually, they have five already here. So that's some, even more than maybe even more than that but anyway that's not worth it and then the uh, last one i mean if you've chosen this one as a second then you choose this one as the third and if you've chosen this one as a second then you choose a mu music box as the third so it is for the goose farm and as we said the goose farm goes into the sleeping bag factory so let's check that now sleeping bag factory not a lot of items and these are a bit different you probably haven't seen them that much because they only affect the parka and the sleeping bag right so that's uh, new things for us to look at today and in this one you know i think for me the first one you'll want is this 
Productivity boost is not huge, 20, but it will give you seal skin, right? Which is one of the things you need for this uh, for this production chain, right? So it, it just helps the production chain a lot, especially given that the seal skin comes from the docks. And if you remember, the docks um, is quite limited. The space that you have for, for this on all of your island is very limited. So that's, that's a bit the limiting factor, if you wish. Then the second that I'll suggest is probably this one, because productivity 40. This one is, is a big productivity boost. And then as always, you have two choices. Either you want to reduce the workforce or you want to have as much productivity as possible. If you want to reduce the workforce, here. <laughs> uh, no, wait. This one, sorry. I mean, she's not bad, right? 30, but this one is 40, so a bit better. So that's going to be minus 40%. That's quite nice. Uh, on the other hand, if you want the productivity, your next best guest is this one, the height scraper, press 25, because as you remember, the music box is only 20. So that's what you do for your sleeping bag factory. To, rem to recap, this one, and this one, and then if you want workforce reduction, you take this one, if you want productivity, you take this one. Now let's move on to the parkas. You can see the parka is here. You still need seal, so that's why, once again, I was saying seal is quite a limiting factor, potentially. Then, on top of that, you're going to add bear, bear, sorry, bear hunting, bear fur. And that's where the, the Arctic really is a, is a special region where each of those chains really has, has very unique elements that you use only in one chains. And this one, you don't have, um, you know, hands like this one, like five hands. You have a radius a bit more like your lumberjacks or your caribou uh, hunting. So that's how it looks. Um, and if we look at the items, so it was the bear hunting cabin. They are actually very similar to your caribou hunting cabin, and therefore we'll probably choose the same ones. <laughs> so you'll choose force the bow. Forest density plus 15, can't really beat that. Um, that's very useful. Then you will probably take Toklo. So this is your best guess for productivity, 40. And as you can see, this is one of those with the uh, goose feather, uh, it was one out of seven, sorry, not one out of five. So this is your second, and then your third, as always, either you want to decrease um, the, you know, the workforce, or you want to go for producti productivity. For your workforce, it will be your Inuit Hunter, minus 25, which honestly is not huge, right? So you may want to go directly for the productivity, and in that case, um, so this one is 30, no, sorry, it's this one. The cable baked bow, bow, bow. <laughs> sorry for my pronunciation, plus the 35%. So that's your max, right? Because this one is 30, uh, this one we know is 20, and this one is only 25. So your 35 is, is your best guess. And then lastly, your Parker factory. Okay, so for the pack, parka factories, as you can see, it's the same items than for sleeping bag factory. So don't hesitate to put them both inside uh, a single uh, Arctic launch. They will be affected by, by pores, right? So you won't lose any space. And you will choose the same items probably, right? Because if you're looking to reduce workforce, you probably want to reduce workforce for both of them. If you're looking to... Um, Maximus productivity, probably, uh, similarly, you want to do it for both. So you will um, probably start with this one to get, again, some seal skin that is a quite limiting factor. Then your case for productivity plus 40. And then if you want the workforce reduction, this one. If you want productivity boost, this one. Um, so that's, that's really all about your choice.
So it is, ladies and gents, we did cover uh, what I promised. All of it, all the, the items for your houses, be it explorers or technicians. Um, the public buildings that don't have items, some of them I didn't mention, right? I didn't mention, for example, the post office because there's no item. If we double check that I'm not lying, you know, you can't find it because there's no item. But we did cover the one that do, like uh, the heater or the ranger station. And then we covered all of these production chains, the sleeping bags and the parkas, given that these are coming from other regions. I hope you like this episode. In the next episode and last episode for this Arctic series, we're going to look into all of the productions that we missed so far. So things like the gas mine or the gold, deep gold mine, which are different from the normal gold mines in the other region. Um, if you, so that's the plan for next time. In the meantime, please don't hesitate to share any feedback, suggestions, comments that you may have. I'd love to hear about it. Um, and if you don't follow my scholar um, or max population series, uh, I am in the process of, of rebuilding this whole Arctic to, to get the max population as possible. As you can see this island, for example. Um, now it's time to move to the other ones. Okay, thank you for watching and hope to see you next time.